The Nikon D750 was one of Nikon's most popular cameras. It has been around for about 9 years now. With the increase in mirrorless cameras and the improvement in camera technology, lots of photographers are making the switch from DSLR to mirrorless cameras. The Nikon D750 seems like something from the distant past, but is it still relevant? Hello and welcome to my channel. Before we get into it, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more of this type of content. The Nikon D750 is like the gift that keeps on giving. It was great when it was first released in 2014 and still performs excellent in 2023. It was the first Nikon full frame camera to have a tilting LCD screen and built in Wi Fi. It was ahead of its time when it was first released. It's packed with a lot of professional features. That's why it's loved by both wedding and portrait photographers. The Nikon D750 was my first full frame camera and it has always been one of my favorite cameras to use. It produces sharp high resolution images. It's lightweight, compact, slim built and has a deep grip that makes it a perfect choice for professional photographers. Even though the Nikon D750 is an excellent camera, it may not be the right camera for you. If you are looking for a camera that shoots 4K videos, has in-body image stabilization, a fully articulated screen, I detect autofocus, then this is not the camera for you. The Nikon D750 is for someone who is upgrading from a crop sensor camera to a full frame camera or someone who wants to buy a camera but don't want to spend a fortune buying the latest camera, someone who's on a budget. It has been discontinued and has been replaced by the Nikon D780, so it's only available used. You can get it here in the UK for about £600. This is a 24 megapixel full frame camera that produces excellent image quality. The 24 megapixel sensor is able to capture more light and more details, which result in higher image quality, beautiful colors and skin tone. The Nikon D750 image quality is similar to that of the Nikon Z6. If I took a photo with both cameras, you would not be able to tell the difference. When taking photos in low light, your photos will have less digital noise and more details at higher ISO, with usable images at up to ISO 6400. Shooting at a higher ISO allows you to shoot at a much faster shutter speed. The autofocus on the Nikon D750 is not great when compared to cameras that are on the market today. But for a 9 year old camera it works really well. It has 51 focus points that makes it easier to track and maintain focus on a moving subject. There are many situations where you need to shoot in low light. Focusing in low light can be challenging for most cameras. So having a reliable camera is vital. The Nikon D750 focuses quite well in low light situations. That makes it a great choice for photographers who does a lot of low light photography. The dynamic range on the Nikon D750 is excellent. It has 14.5 soft up dynamic range. That means more details are captured in the highlights and in the shadow. It also means that if you underexpose or overexpose your image, it will give you the latitude to recover blown out highlights or deep shadows, especially when you are shooting in RAW. The Nikon D750 shoots 6.5 frames per second continuous. Again, that is not fast if you are comparing it to cameras that are on the market today. If you are a sport photographer or if you shoot fast moving subjects, maybe you'll need something a little faster. 6.5 frames per second is good enough for general photography and moderate sports activities. The Nikon D750 doesn't shoot 4K videos. It shoots full HD 1080p videos up to 60 frames per second. 1080p videos are suitable for most situations. It comes with zebra strap warning. When you turn on this feature and look at the scene through the live view, any part of the scene that is overexposed, you'll see in real time zebra stripe patterns indicating that the highlights are blown out. This only works in video mode. The D750 comes with a tilted LCD screen, which I really like to use. It suits me and my style of photography. Some photographers rather to have a camera that has the fully articulated screen. There may be some benefits that comes with that. But not having a fully articulated screen, that's not a deal breaker for me. In-body image stabilization was introduced in the Nikon Z6 and the Nikon Z7. This helps to keep your image sharp despite camera shake. The Nikon D750 doesn't have any in-body image stabilization, but there is a workaround. You can buy lenses that are stabilized and you will get a similar result. The D750 has dual SD card slot and this gives you more flexibility when it comes to storage. The Wi-Fi on the D750 can be connected to your smartphone when running the SnapBridge app. This allows you to share your photos right away to social media. The D750 has a time-lapse function that allows you to create time-lapse movies. The camera will automatically take photos at a selected interval to create time-lapse movies. When it comes to battery life, the Nikon D750 outperforms most mirrorless cameras. It has an excellent battery life. You can get about 1,230 shots on a single charge. That makes it perfect for photographers who need a reliable camera that can shoot all day. In my opinion, the Nikon D750 is definitely worth buying. 
even though it was released in 2014 it still takes amazing photos there are better cameras on the market but when it comes to value for money the nikon d750 is a winner it's lightweight compact shoots 6.5 frames per second excellent in low light and produces amazing image quality remember you don't need the latest cameras to take great photos